Hi, Scott Weaver back at you from Factory Direct Designers Workroom. Today we're going to go over a simple drapery rod. This is a traverse rod <clears throat> and explain how much material you may need to for your project. Um, if you're new at pinch pleating draperies, uh, which is that's what this would be, and how much fullness and how much material you need. Well, we're going to start by teaching you the basics. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is figure out how many widths of material we need to cover the rod. And to do that, first you have to put, you have to know exactly where you're going to locate your rod. It sounds crazy, but a lot of people just take their window width. They're not allowing for the stack back, and please watch my video on stacking back your draperies, which means you're going past your window by one third of the size to create the stack back so when you open up your draperies it goes past your window sills opposed to all stacking into the windows and blocking your view. So once you've determined how far out your rod's going to go then you have to now figure out how many widths of material you're going to use to pinch pleat your draperies. Well a couple of key factors that you have to know first. One would be the width of your drapery rod from end to end. Okay, and for instance, this one's 60 inches. Then there's another formula you need is you have to allow enough for the overlap. That's when your draperies close. Now if you were just to pinch pleat your draperies to the width of this rod, it would stop right here and it wouldn't close. They would not overlap each other in the center. You would have a gap. And a third thing to understand are the returns because the drapery has to wrap around the returns. And what that means is when you hook your drapery, your last drape, onto the end of the rod, your last pleat, then this part goes around the return. So you also have to make sure that your panels are big enough to do that. So we're going to go through a scenario first using the rod. For instance, this rod is 60 inches wide. Now you're going to need 4 inches for the overlap. That is 64 inches. Then on this particular rod you need 3 inches on this side to go around and three inches to go on this on this side. So you have six and four is ten inches plus your sixty inch rod that's seventy inches. So now in order for this to open and close your panel has to be seventy inches and if it, it's a pair then each side has to be thirty five inches and thirty five inches. A left and right panel each of thirty five inches. Okay that's the first thing we're going to understand. It's the rod width, it's the returns on both sides, and the overlap in the middle. All have to be key factors. 60 inches plus another 10 makes it 70. It's a pair, you split that in half, it's 35 inches and 35 inches. Okay, now that we understand that, let me get this pinch pleat out of here. Now we have to understand how many widths of material we're going to need. Well, first thing we have to understand is what is a width of material? A width of material is a piece of fabric like this. And what we're calling a width is from selvage to selvage. In this case, the width of this material is 54 inches. So now we have to determine how many of these pieces that we need to cover the rod. Well, here's the formula. You need at least two times the width of this rod plus your overlap and your returns. Now, obviously, if you were just to take a 60 inch piece or 70 inch piece, that's before you put your pleats to it. So, this isn't going to just work flat. So, now we're talking about what's called drapery fullness. So, 
having said that, this fabric is 54 inches wide. We have a 60 inch rod. I like to use two and a half times the rod width. What does that mean? That means two and a half times the material. So I'm literally using Whatever this is 60 inches, I'm using 60, 120, and another 30 inches on top of that. Two and a half times this rod of material. So let's figure this out. Here we go. This is the important part, so listen carefully. We have a 60 inch rod. What we're going to do is go 60 inches. We're going to multiply that by 2.5, which is two and a half times. That's what I like to use the fullness. You have to go at least two times fullness. You can go to the maximum of three times fullness. I like to do two and a half. 60 plus 2.5. I'm sorry, 60 times 2.5. That's 150 inches. 150 flat out inches is what we're talking about. Now, we have to add four inches for our overlap. 3 inches for the return, and 3 inches for the return. Another 10 inches onto that, plus 10. We need 160 inches. Now we're going to divide that by the width of our material. In this case, the width of my material is 54 inches. So we can divide that by 54. This comes out to 2.96 widths of material, which we round up to three widths of material. So here, in order to make this, we need one, two, and three widths of material to make it. Now since this is a pair, what we would be doing is we'd be taking this piece right here, folding it, and then we'd be cutting it so we'd be adding a half a width to this side and a half width to this side. So literally you would have one and a half widths to one and a half widths to equal our three, three widths of material. So that is uh, where your starting point is with making uh, the drapery. Now that you know that you need three widths of material, then you can go to figure out your length from the top of your rod down, um, just a quick overview of that, the way we would make it. Um, say you have a 90 inch long drapery, plus you need for your hems, we're gonna say we're gonna put a double turn four inch uh, bottom hem, that's eight inches, plus a double four inch top, double turn four, that's another eight inches. Okay, so minimally you need 106, you might want to cut it a couple of inches, say plus two more inches, just to overcut it at first, that's 108. And we know we're using three widths of material, times three is 324 inches, and then you can divide that by a one yard, which is 36 inches, and you're going to come out with nine yards of material for your project. So that's the starting point of figuring out your draperies and calculating how much material you need. I hope that is helpful for you. Um, I'm also going to do another uh, video shortly uh, about how many pleats you need um, and uh, how, to, how to figure out your pleating, your spaces, and etc. Which I do have one already on this, but I might just clarify it with uh, making a wider panel this time for you. I uh, hope this helps, and if you have any questions, you can find my contact information uh, at my, on my website, which is Factory Direct Designers uh, Workroom. And um, other than that, have a nice day, and thanks for watching.